park is an opportunity to harness the wisdom of the citizens of the city uh, to improve the health and well-being of those who live and work here. Uh, it's community health at its best. It's a way of finding out how to make things better by using the people that know what they need. Health is very little about what goes on in the doctor's office. Health is about what happens in your life. The clip you just saw was from a 30-minute documentary produced by Twin Cities Public Television. TPT contacted us to do this story because they were interested in our approach. While we had some ideas, we didn't exactly know what it meant to be a healthy community, but we did know our community could help us find out. So here's our story. While the title of this session is called Health in the City, the name of our initiative is called Health in the Park or HIP. The team present today from St. Louis Park is Will Stockton with St. Louis Park based Mobius Inc., Gene Olson, who's our HIP Outreach Coordinator, and Bridget Gothberg, who's the City's Organizational Development Coordinator. In 2011, Will had just finished facilitating a large group discussion for a client around the importance of healthy communities. Based on what he learned from that experience, he approached us to discuss the importance of having a community dialogue about this important issue in St. Louis Park, which we bought into very quickly. At its core, HIP is about the power of community partnerships and relationships. So naturally, we brought in our community partners, including the school district, the Chamber of Commerce, and Park Nicollet, a large healthcare organization in our city, to further discuss the importance of being a healthy community. It was agreed by all that the time was right to engage our community in this important topic. We knew that resources would be needed to undertake an authentic community engagement process. So we approached Blue Cross Blue Shield for help. We were successful in obtaining a three-year funding commitment in large part because they were intrigued with the idea that we would engage the community in defining what it meant to be a healthy community. We then began to inform the community about the HIP initiative and frame the importance of it around the why statement that we live, work, and play in St. Louis Park, creating connections and conversations to inspire healthier individuals and communities. Once word got out, we literally received dozens of phone calls from residents asking how they could participate. In St. Louis Park, we understand that we live at the level of our language and that real conversation can lead to healthy change. With that in mind, we intentionally designed our process using our why statement and our formal commitment to Blue Cross Blue Shield. Our initial community engagement process involved the extensive use of focus groups with as many people as possible from the community. Through these focus groups, we were able to talk to more than 1,000 people representing a wide cross-section of the community. Questions we asked included, if we were successful, what would a healthy St. Louis Park look like? And what actions do you think would have the greatest impact on the community's health and well-being? From there, we created a steering committee that reflected the makeup of the community. The steering committee was tasked with helping us make sense of all of the input we received and share their own stories and experiences. They also helped us plan for the next phase of our citizen engagement process. In this case, two large community meetings around the issue of being a healthy community. The first of the community meetings was during a snowstorm and we were certain no one would attend. But despite terrible weather and driving conditions, about 90 people showed up, the oldest over 90 and the youngest at 11. The second community meeting was held on a Sunday and was also successful with over 100 fully engaged people in attendance. Upon completion of the focus groups and community meetings, we had mountains of data and input, and with the help of the steering committee, looked for patterns and themes. This exercise resulted in eight specific areas being identified for follow-up and action to create a healthier St. Louis Park. I'll tell you more about a few of these in just a minute. To celebrate the HIP initiative and grow community awareness, we utilized a tactical urbanism tool known as a pop-up or open streets event. We called it Park the Street, and it involved closing down a mile of a major street as a means to bring people out into the street, build community, and increase awareness of a proposed dedicated bike lane for that street. It was a huge hit with well over 2,000 people attending on a beautiful fall day. The community's reaction was very positive. So positive that we're undertaking another pop-up event in June in a part of our community that's very diverse. So diverse that we'll be printing the invitation in four different languages. One of the eight areas identified through the community engagement process related to mental health and the stigma behind mental illness. To get the conversation started, we hosted a community meeting where over 
300 people attended to hear the story from a well-recognized TV news person about being bipolar. Another of the eight groups is focused on eating healthier. One step being taken is to work with our school district on providing healthier and fresher food choices at our schools. We also have a group looking at promoting more gardening, such as edible playgrounds, increasing community gardening space, and improving accessibility to healthier food via our local food shelf. Another one of the groups called Active Connections is promoting and providing strong support to the city on a 10-year, $25 million initiative to expand the sidewalk and trail system in our community. This group has shown up at council meetings and has been very effective in supporting the council in carrying out this initiative, even when faced with stiff resistance. In St. Louis Park, we have a saying, if you teach a bear to dance, you need to be willing to dance until the bear wants to stop. What this means is, if you actively engage your community on an important topic, you can't end it until the community wants to stop. In St. Louis Park, we've been very successful in our community engagement efforts, and there are challenges. Community engagement can sometimes feel like you're hurting cats. You'll find people with special interests or hidden agendas. Others will be very demanding or impatient that their area of interest hasn't been chosen as the highest priority. Even so, we found that the best way to make real change in our community is to actively engage our community. Soon, we will be starting the third and final year of our relationship with Blue Cross Blue Shield. One major area of focus for us right now is on how we will sustain this initiative for the long term. We're actively engaging our partners in this discussion and are also bringing in some fresh eyes and ideas. Our goal is to have a specific plan ready by July 1. Thank you.